Hi guys, welcome to the new series of SQL interview question. In this series, we will be talking about only the important interview questions from SQL. And this series is for both CSE and non-CSE students. But before jumping into this video, let me tell you, I have already uploaded a DBMS series and that too is for placement interview. If you haven't watched that, please go ahead and check it out. Now in this video, you are going to see where versus having, where we have to use where clause and where we have to use having clause. So let's get started. First understand where and having both are used to filter a record like select star from table where salary is greater than 5000 or where salary is less than this. So I am applying a condition. If the condition is matching, then only give me those result. So this both where and having we are use, we are going to use it for filtering. But there is a little difference. And as you can see on my screen, the difference is where is used at the row level. Means, means I'm, I'm filtering salary is less than whatever or country is, um, you know, is equal to US or India or I'm filtering something uh, with a specific row and with a specific column name. Okay, I'm not doing anything else apart from that. But having on the other side, having is used on the, it's a group level filtering. Whenever you are seeing something like aggregation, aggregation means maybe the average count, minimum, maximum. If you are aggregating some record, like I want the average salary. If some department has an average salary greater than this then fetch me those record so for that department i'm going to give the average salary where having average salary is greater than this whenever a column name is coming with a aggregating function then before that you need to apply having instead of where where cannot be used with uh, the aggregated function make a note of it now let's move to the next slide and you can see here select star from employee where country is equal to UK simple country there is no aggregated function with the country simple country that's why we are using where clause over here now in the second statement you can see select customer ID comma country from employee group by country okay when to use the group by uh, you know it's a group by clause when to use that so make a note of it again whenever you are fetching select aggregated function comma any column any column you are fetching and that is not aggregated you need to aggregate that with the help of group by if you are not giving group by country then it will it will be throwing you an error so whenever you are finding an aggregated function with some uh, you know some field name some maybe the country name maybe the e name or maybe xyz xyz if it is not with the aggregated function then make sure you need to add the group by and after that you need to write each name which is not aggregated so it will be aggregating all those function now having count this is an aggregated function customer id is greater than one count of customer id so that's why i used having clause over here not where clause so what it is going to give me it is going to give me the number of customer id for a particular country got it now i have a question now can we use uh, where and having in a same query yes we can use as you can see on my screen here in this example what i'm doing i'm fetching select count cust id comma country from employee where country is equal to only uk i want the result of only uk group by country i told you whenever you are using aggregated function comma non non aggregated then it should come with group by having count cust id since its count is an aggregated function so having should come first now what it will give me it is going to give me the result of a, all the count of a customer id for uk only uk because i have already filtered uk right so it's as simple as that hope you guys understood it if you have 
understood this properly don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you guys thank you for watching